Filling out your events with live ads, five simple steps to filling up your events, workshops, and conferences by me, Jan Rognerud. I'll talk a little bit about myself later, but this is about you, so let's dig right in here today. Who is this for? Well, if you're an event manager, an event planner, an event promoter, maybe you're a coach, a speaker, author, artist, celebrity, really anybody who's planning and producing events and needs to sell out the rooms and, hey, even building uh, waiting lists, this is for you and really ultimately you want to have a profitable return on your investment from the paid ads to the entire event so in the next 45 minutes or so i'm going to show you case studies from our lab and from clients and i'll outline the exact steps that you must take to sell out your seats now there's nothing for sale here today but i do have a very cool gift for you it is the event scaling framework guide and uh, you'll get that at the end as a thank you for watching and you can see a picture of it there. The, this is a complete breakdown on how this works with Facebook advertising and social media ads. Now, the promise here I'm going to make for you, uh, it's a bold one, but uh, this is what we do and this is what I do. Uh, a step-by-step -step model to easily sell out your seats to your next event. Uh, and as with anything, we want to make sure that we are talking about the same thing. There are rules to this game. And here are the rules that we've found to be true. You must provide a great valuable service and have traction in the marketplace. So in other words, no get rich quick on events in a weekend type stuff. Uh, see a lot of this happening in the marketplace. This is not what we do. The results I'm showing you are typical for us. And if you work hard and follow these steps, you can do it too. And we do have event ticket sales starting at 250 per ticket. Uh, at minimum, uh, we go lower at times, but uh, as you'll see here in some of the case studies, there's uh, ranges for this. Now, ultimately, this is about you, right? But I don't know you. I don't know your business. But if you're ready and you want to work this, uh, you can get great results. So your success awaits. Now, here's the thing that we've found. And I want to sort of confirm this with you. This may be you right at this moment, that you can consistently sell out your events and with predictability. You're not sure entirely where to get it started with paid advertising on Facebook. You don't know the media buying structure for event campaigns online. And you're burning yourself out, frankly, trying to sell tickets and launching your next event. Is that you? Well, you know, if you don't know how to use ads and messaging for optimal conversions, you know, everything's for naught. And ultimately, I put this in here, people issues, right? Always the case. There may be people in your circle of influence that don't actually believe you can do these things. Now, I talked about being an established business. You may have other business um, segments working for you already, and you are branching into events. Well, you need to, of course, uh, improve that in terms of your circle of influence, and that's why I put that in there. Now, I want you to watch and take notes here today because all of these, we're going to wipe them out. This will be a thing of the past. So let's talk about me for just a moment here. Uh, I want to make sure that, you know, you understand where I come from and, you know, why I have the authority and the knowledge to talk about these things. My name is Jan Ragnarud. I'm originally from Norway. Uh, I'm an author and digital marketer. Uh, focus on uh, event marketing for high ticket sales using paid media. And uh, uh, at the agency, we have uh, many clients in uh, several verticals, uh, both B2B and B2C plus local. Uh, written three books on website optimization for Entrepreneur Press. Uh, built two businesses on digital marketing, both with organic SEO and paid media. And I help small and large businesses scale, scale big. Many authority articles online, so you can search my name when you're done with this presentation. And I have daily podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. Uh, so there's a number of references, obviously, uh, of me online. But this is about you. So... Let's just kind of talk about this because I'm sure that you have had your various uh, struggles along the way uh, to get to this space of event marketing. And here's sort of mine where this started by accident. Um, basically, companies uh, came uh, in uh, to us and to me asking for uh, uh, running events with advertising. And uh, we're certified with Facebook and Google, um, and we are very math-driven. So we, we basically, what we do is we run any campaign with a math sheet, a worksheet, before we kick things off. And the first event promotion was probably just pure luck, but uh, 
And by the way, you're going to hear me talk a little bit about this. There is a proven formula that I'm going to share with you here today, but there are variables. And uh, here we were really lucky with a $5,000, a little over actually, and we got a $93,000 return in seven weeks uh, using Facebook ads and Google ads, a little bit of organic as well. And so now we teach and consult on paid ads for events, and we do this for big and small companies, as I mentioned. And I personally love this, and I'm an ex-musician and speaker. I love to speak from stage. I've been on stage for many years, and so it's very familiar territory. So I want you to pay attention next, because uh, I'm going to basically now break down the five steps to 100% event ticket sales. So the first one here is somewhat obvious, but we tend to forget this, and we need to call this out. You need to be the best. I mean, this is really personal. So you need to get results for your clients, obviously, great results. Uh, the attendees, they will get the value. They will trust you more and become big advocates for you, which is exactly what you want. High integrity approach is a must, and no marketing will fix a bad business or poor intention. So that goes into your reputation. So you want to attract the right people and get the connections that you need there. And it's also, uh, we're going to talk more about niching here in a few minutes, but uh, that is definitely very important. And everything is sourced from excellence. And uh, yeah, this is a straight up message. If this is not where you're at, this may be the time to exit this uh, presentation. Number two, the path is all math. This is what I talked about just a few minutes ago. For anything that you're doing with advertising online, doesn't matter if it's events or you know e-commerce or lead generation, you need to understand that this is an investment, not an expense. But you need to also make sure that you understand the math. So here, did you pick the pricing per ticket for your from a hat, or are you just sort of randomly uh, uh, you know assessing that? Do you know your CPA and AOV? If you don't know what those numbers are, we can break those down for you. But essentially, you need to understand that this is where the math becomes very powerful for you because your cost per acquisition or cost per lead needs to be less than your average order value. So if you essentially are spending a dollar and you're getting two dollars out, you're doing well. You know, we'd like to see a one to five return. Uh, pricing per ticket or size of event is not in line with your accounting budget. Uh, budgeting. This is also very, very important, right? Because some of these things that we're going to be launching for you uh, are not necessarily going to be working day one, right? It's very typical that you're going to spend some time testing. And so you'll build some proof of concepts using our models. Now, here is where you can really stand out. You create exclusivity and you raise your pricing, right? So if some of these numbers don't fall in line with where you're going, but you have an established business, well, we're going to work with you to show you how to raise your prices and to sell more on the back end, right? So, you know, we talk about ROI, but we also talk about ROAS. So that's a return on ad spend. And we break this all down through this math approach, because all of this, frankly, needs to make sense up front, or there's no, you know, use going forward. And also, of course, you provide big results for people, you have great experience, value and transformation. And the price for this is not going to be cheap. You're not selling a $49, $97, you know, ticket, right? This is exclusivity. So here's an example, right? So if you're selling right now, uh, thinking of 100 tickets at 97, well, consider 40 tickets at 500 and be exclusive, right? Charge premium pricing. Talked about that just a moment ago. And here's the ultimate truth. I mean, you've seen this for yourself. People who pay more expect more and they will be better clients for you ultimately, and they show up committed and ready to go every day. This is huge. So I'm gonna take a moment here and repeat that. They show up committed and ready every day. So it's not just about a one-time event. This is ongoing. So number two, the path is all math, is something that we really need to consider before doing anything else. So let's talk about a case study here. This is a healthcare company in California. And uh, we actually ended this uh, fairly recently. The event is going on right now. And they had no real process for selling tickets to an annual event. It was sort of haphazardly done through organic and email outreach. Uh, they never actually sold out the events. It's an annual event, but they never sold it out completely. And it varies from 149 to 499 an average around 244 closing in on the 250 that I mentioned earlier. So we spent 8530302 a revenue here huge 133008.50 um, and we used Google and Facebook ads. So for Google we sold 279 tickets average cost per result remember I talked about the CPA 
different ways of describing this here, but essentially uh, cost per result, CPA, CPL, all these numbers equate down to uh, essentially a result per transaction from the lead coming in, right? 213 tickets sold, average CPA for Facebook higher at 3236. But you can see here clearly we're under well under the number 149, which is the lowest ticket price, and of course way under the 499 ticket price. So ultimately, 492 tickets sold, organic and email as of 419. So that's just about this uh, just a few days ago. Uh, uh, and uh, so that was 545 sold at that point, and that was actually over the total seats planned for 500. So uh, extremely uh, great example for what can happen for uh, an event with an established business. Now, here are some examples. Uh, we just pulled this out from uh, inside Google. So this is uh, uh, from uh, we started uh, February, actually late February and uh, up to April 25th. So we pulled this here and this is uh, 279 um, uh, conversions here. So this is looking at the Google dashboard here, cost per conversion, as you saw, 539 right there. Um, and um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you another reporting tool that we use called Swido. And here you can see the 279 again. Uh, if you decide uh, later to do this, I uh, recommend uh, running Swido. It's less uh, uh, awkward to, uh, to work than inside the dashboards of Google and Facebook, and you can extract it out. Easy to uh, report to the executive team and to uh, members of uh, staff, etc. And uh, here is an example of the Facebook dashboard. Again, Swido allows us to extract all of this back out. Uh, here we see the 213 uh, sold for Facebook at 32.36, as I mentioned, and uh, the 6893.17 dollars total spent there. Um, I also want to share another uh, case study here. This was one that I referred to earlier. Uh, in America, you know, here in America, there's a lot of associations, uh, member companies, and here we spent 5000 on Facebook and Google, sort of the 80-20 rule here in terms of uh, the allocation. I should say Facebook, 80%, 20% Google, collected over 93,000 in ticket sales in seven weeks. And we used short and long-form videos and also static creatives. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more to kind of guide you along on how we actually do these things. Um, and then, of course, we A-B tested custom landing pages on this and uh, recommend that you do this uh, in any case, whether you're using a, a custom uh, a landing page system or if you're using uh, Eventbrite and other uh, you know tools out there. Now, not all of these uh, tools or platforms are going to have this capability, but uh, A-B testing both for ads and landers are going to be very important. So number three here, we're... Uh, Kind of moving along, this one here, as I mentioned the previous one with the math, but uh, this one here ties right into it. You need to be able to sell out tickets with paid advertising. Uh, organic is going to help. Email is going to help. Anything that you're doing uh, in terms of tweeting and sharing out on your uh, uh, Facebooks and uh, YouTubes and anywhere else, uh, sure. But this is going to provide that consistency that you need. So paid advertising with Facebook, great place to start. That's what we prefer planning out your video sequencing. Uh, this is a way that we can actually build audiences through percent watched of videos and build out those audiences and retarget them. And there's no need for you to grind this out. And uh, you don't have to make this so very, very complex. So <clears throat> what we need to do, though, is, pardon me, we need to uh, use videos and landing pages that convert. Talked a little bit about that a minute ago, the A-B testing, etc. But here's the secret. You need to provide ad traffic, so traffic through ads, right? There is going to be a form to sign up, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. But ultimately, you get their name and email info. Uh, nobody is going to ultimately sign up on the first touch point um, unless they come in from some other pre-sale or pre-framing uh, capability. We're going to share videos with them. Uh, we're going to sell tickets from those, and all of this includes the retargeting, as I mentioned. This model is very, very simple. It's very straightforward, and um, this is the winning formula every time. So the creative, as I mentioned, video and static images, the messaging has to be key. And for example, uh, you may decide that for the event that you have that's coming up, 
uh, there's three videos that really explain a lot what's going on in terms of what the direction is, what the value is, and what the uh, you know personal unique aspects of this is going to be for that audience. And uh, we'll share with you more of this uh, in examples uh, through the, uh, the framework which you get at the end of uh, this presentation. So this is for a training company in the health, fitness, uh, and supplements area. We started with $50 a day, Facebook ads, uh, was the initial seed for this. We added YouTube and Google Display later, but uh, we scaled from $50 a day up to $60,000, and that was done in six weeks, a little bit less actually. This event sold out at a uh, little, little over $400,000, and there was 150 seats sold, and high ticket range from twenty-five dollars to $4,500 for those tickets, and we sold 25 live streams on the back end. Those were live from the event at one ninety-seven. It's a nice upsell opportunity. Uh, signed 12 new annual mastermind members at $25,000 apiece. Those were back-end sales. I talked about that uh, earlier. And then we also built out the entire, uh, entire funnel from scratch. It was a webinar-style funnel and a PDF downloadable funnel in ClickFunnels, which is one of the tools that we use. There's many out there, but uh, that worked out really great. And then ultimately, email is not dead. We built out the email sequencing in Infusionsoft, which uh, you know is Keep uh, renamed uh, right now. But ultimately, this was a great success story. And this is also where you have a smaller exclusive type of arrangement um, in a workshop style uh, with you know highly uh, not only exclusive but authoritative and uh, elite members that sign up for these types of events. So it's a good consideration for you if you're playing at this level. Now, if you want to sell out your next event, um, think about these things. How much money could you make? I mean, ultimately, we want to make sure that this math works, right? How much value could you provide, not counting the follow opportunities that you just saw? How many raving fans would you be able to create? This is going to be huge, uh, hugely valuable. Um, you know, do you want the 1,000 super fans or, or 1 million followers on YouTube, right? Well, I think you know the answer. How would it feel to get this going? And how would it feel to do it right? That's my questions for you for selling out the next event. Now, here's a quick recap. We talked about the personal and high integrity approach. That, that was the first thing we covered. We definitely drilled down into the path is all math concept. And of course, uh, selling with paid ads and targeted content creatives. Now, what I want to really stress here in number four is how important it is for you to work on your business and not in your business, right? So here's where you have a chance to work on getting content and the logistics right for the event. Clearly, you have team members to help with this as well. But you don't have to worry about the ticket sales, you know? And so if you've been involved at this level before and it's stressing you out, then this is going to provide a new shift in your mind and an approach for your event planning and to scale each one and each one for the future. So if you want to consider this, you have now the ability to work on sales programs, content and training for a certain group of people that you can provide through an ascension planning program, right? You basically have a laddered approach. And instead of trying to sell one event, you can work on the back end for this and work on the business and not in it. So here's a big, big event that we did with an international movie star, Bollywood uh, movie star, actually. 9,000 seats um, in this case study at San Jose Convention Center uh, using both organic and paid ads. And they also had a team to help with this, which was very helpful. Uh, tickets range from $99 to VIP at 15000 and uh, the range was so wide there, so we took that on. But there was no workflow or advertising in place for event scaling at all. They've been doing this organically, and they needed a big lift, right? So what we did is we launched Facebook ads to complement this work of the organic team. And we made sure that that only, not only was streamlined, but you know we wanted to also optimize that experience for them because they were wasting a lot of time trying to get tickets sold. So we added training videos for team members and we had weekly calls to share how the Facebook ads and the stats are working, obviously, through reporting and Swido and the things we, uh, uh, I shared earlier, uh, but also to get the team up to speed on the ability to run these ads going forward. Um, uh, that was very successful and very, very helpful uh, because it also allows us to answer this question or to point this out. An educated customer or client is a smart uh, arrangement, right? You're going to be asking much better questions. So 
the videos, the weekly calls, the daily email support, uh, big, big uh, event in uh, San Jose. Now, number five here, uh, I've sort of called this out to use paid media, but really what I'm talking about here is social media coupled with Facebook ads, right? So you want to get smart with paid advertising and get speed into your ticket sales because you may be under the gun. <clears throat> Depending on how you're setting this up, you want to ramp it up fast. Now, we recommend at least eight weeks in advance, uh, but for you, this may be a shorter time frame. And uh, this is where social media and FB ads is going to really help. And also the ability to use rich media and, uh, and copy that speaks to the urgency, the uniqueness, the usefulness of the event and the ultra specific nature of that uh, event because you want it to be very specific to make sure that when you inject your message to a very targeted audience with the right message, you're going to see success. Uh, this is a proven formula and you have to do it right. And that, that way, in that way, you can use uh, Facebook ads to elevate this very, very fast. So I have a bonus here. I talked about the, the first five, but I have a bonus. Um, you know, it should be obvious by now, but, you know, you tend to forget this. At least that's what we're seeing from clients, that there are experts out there that can help, you know, mentorships, etc. So you have expert speakers at your event. Do you have experts in paid ads to help with this? You know, again, you want to remove the stress and think more about the process of hiring speakers and creating content and handling the logistics, as I said, and really think about what's possible because uh, it's a total mindset game. It really always is. So how much can you make from this event? You know, well, here's a reminder, right? Small events with exclusivity is where you can make the most, including the bigger impact for results of attendees. Uh, personal attention and selling out events is easily done with this approach. And recordings of the event can be turned into training programs, like six, eight-week training programs that you can sell ongoing. And the packing can really make a difference here. I mean, you can sell this from two, three thousand up to eight, ten thousand dollars for these training programs. So it's very, very viable. And so if you think about your event beyond just simply the the event itself, but the entire before and after, and uh, including getting your um, uh, campaigns done right with expert advice, uh, then you're really on to something. So uh, really, at this point, uh, you have a choice. Uh, do you want to set yourself free? and get better leverage, make an impact, and get great outcomes for your clients? Well, obviously, that's a yes, because if you're watching this far, that is a complete 100% yes. But here's the thing. You can continue the same way. I mean, this is basically, you know, uh, the Einstein method, ma ma message, right? Doing the same thing over and over again, you know, providing, uh, you know, doesn't provide the different results or whatever the expression is, right? Well, this is what you need to go. Make a push forward and use our proven models and do it consistently. And uh, if you think that there is, well, then there may be an opportunity here. So here's ultimately what we have for you. I hope this has been helpful, but I, I want to make sure that you look at this because we've set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you personally and to see if these uh, ideas can work for you. And, um, and also, I should say, many clients that have come uh, to us have succumbed to the force of average, right? So that's why we want to show you a custom plan that we build right there for you and help you overcome your blocks, your mental blocks. And we'll get on the phone. We'll work with you to apply the step-by-step -step plan to level up. And this will actually be your plan tailored to you to get the results you're looking for. So we'll actually go through it uh, right on the phone uh, for you. So this is not just, you know, a, uh, uh, you know, cookie cutter thing that we just throw your way um, or a sort of a, uh, a non cookie cutter. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure that it's customized for you. So the cost for this is, of course, you know, free because that's how we operate. And that's why I said, of course, you know, but this is not for everyone. So you must have an established business and ready to scale up. And you also should have planned events in the past, as I mentioned, guarantee that you are an expert in your market because this is going to be a screaming success when you do it that way. Um, and you want it to be high integrity. So if you are a high integrity company or individual, you should definitely book a session now. And by the way, at the bottom here, a bit.ly event marketing PDF, that's your free gift. And uh, there's also going to be another case study here, which uh, is included. And um, I really hope you take a look at this. It's, it's a lot of detail here on that uh, event marketing blueprint there. Uh, but, uh, you know, make sure that uh, you if you have any questions, uh, set up an appointment and we'll take you through it as well. And we'll also get these questions. Why is this free? Well, you know, 
we love helping and I've been personally doing this for many years now, over a decade plus, and I truly enjoy it. So uh, ultimately our guidance can help you, uh, help you, and we can also provide transformation in your life and for, for your clients. So you should book the call now and we'll call you at the time you choose. Uh, but I will say this, time is limited and others are signing up, so make sure you book the time. And this ultimately could be that moment where your event business changes. And, you know, you, you probably heard this before, but, you know, there is an opportunity for that change to happen. And if you have felt that this is valuable for you today, I really have enjoyed putting this together for you, then book the call now. And think about what you're trying to achieve and we certainly would love to help you get there. So again, this is Jan Rognerud. I really appreciate you watching here today. Click the button and book the call.